we just saw the the two developments that that were that would lead to the the dramatically different model of atom that we are going to study the first in line was dual behavior of matter and we we understood what it was and we did some numericals based on this the second is the heisenberg's uncertainty principle heisenberg's uncertainty principle and that is what we'll be doing now okay so so right the, the second in line was the heisenberg's uncertainty principle Now, Heisenberg said that it, 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 he said that it is not possible to exactly determine determine the position. as well as the position as well as the velocity of a particle as well as the velocity of a particle simultaneously okay so what does he say he say that in that, that if you want to have an exact okay position and exact velocity at the same time right so say a particle is is say moving like that and at this point of time at, at, at here if you want to know its position exactly where it is okay with an arbitrarily small accuracy okay with an arbitrarily small small not accuracy with an arbitrarily small so if you if you want to know the position of this particle with an arbitrarily arbitrarily large precision okay what do you mean by precision the the resolution that is if you say that i want to know the position of this particle till till 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 20 places after the decimal let us say so so your resolution is this if someone knows it till 3 places after the decimal his resolution is is lesser than yours okay so 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 this fellow is more precise than this okay so if you want an arbitrarily large precision okay so so you're not satisfied with saying that the particle is at, is as at 2.1 you say no i i want it like that up till till 20 points after the decimal which may which may become okay which may become say say 2.1 Two point one, three two, four one six two five one nine seven, two six five seven, one four six two nine. Let's say, okay, how many? Three three six, three nine, three twelve, three fifteen, three eighteen to twenty somehow, right? Fine. So so till twenty places after the decimal. and you say there is no limit to it i might also also next ask till 40 places are after the decimal so you do not have have that leeway if you start being extremely precise about your 
extremely precise about your position then the velocity will go haywire you, your your precision of velocity will not be in your hands okay now let us try to understand its mathematical formulation so he actually said that your del x into del p has to be greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi okay where where delta x is the is the uncertainty in position uncertainty in position this is uncertainty in position and and delta p is uncertainty on un, uncertainty is uncertainty in momentum right now now let's also try to understand this delta p is actually delta m into v okay now m is absolutely constant it's, it's known to a very high degree of precision so so what, what happens this is m delta v correct delta p is m delta v so so this equation one can be written as okay this equation one can be written as as delta x into m delta v is greater than equal to h upon 4 pi okay and that means that delta x into delta v is greater than equal to h upon 4 pi m get that where where this delta v is what this delta v becomes now the uncertainty now becomes the uncertainty in velocity in velocity get that now what happens if you try to make this this delta x smaller and smaller okay understand then this delta v starts becoming larger and larger because this delta x will ultimately go there you understand you understand what we are trying to say now why did he say that what is the reason for for saying such a weird thing as this this is the mathematical formula for this is the this is the mathematical formulation of mathematical formulation of formulation of heisenberg's principle principle right okay now let's try to understand this okay let's try to understand this Let's say say this is this is a paper, right? This is a paper, and, and we are showing the thickness of the paper, right? So this is the thickness of the paper, right? We are looking at the thickness of the paper. It looks to be very 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 thick, but let's say we have amplified it a lot to just just to make you make you understand. 
now i give you a scale and that scale is unmarked can you tell me the thickness of the paper can you no you can't okay you can't tell me the thickness of the paper now i i give you a scale that is marked something like that okay so so mark like this what happens you will be able to measure but there will be a lot of error right so to measure it to a very high degree of precision the number of divisions on this should be very very small so say something like that okay e even smaller the smaller the better is it not that is the least count of the scale the least count of the scale should be very 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 less is it not the lesser the better okay that's right, so another thing after a point the, the resolution of your own eye comes into play and it kind of obstructs from that measurement correct so so what happens suppose suppose you are you are able to have hold a magnifying glass there and and you are still able to read it off then then what happens the graduation of the scale has to be very 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 small the distance between the two the two markings that has to be smaller and smaller for you to be pre more precise and more precise did we get that fine now how do i get the position of an electron because because electron itself is so so very small correct it's not as big as this i am kind of exaggerating it right so so its mass itself is its 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 mass its mass itself is is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg that that's pretty small okay so if 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 this is very small okay let let's compare it with this if the pages are very very thin the 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 distance between the markings has to be lesser than that correct lesser than that so so to observe an electron how will you observe an electron by by putting light over it okay you have to see it so so you have to see it okay and, and the moment you try to see it the moment you try to see it, so 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 you will you will try to you you will you will make an some electromagnetic wave incident upon that correct to see that okay now for higher precision for high precision for high precision the wavelength the lambda the the wavelength of the light the wavelength of the light has to be very very smaller than the dimension of the electron and by dimension i mean the diameter here right compared to the size of the electron that wavelength should be very very small okay now a, a small wavelength okay if the wavelength is very very small let us try to go to the de broglie's so it says that p is equal to h upon lambda now if lambda is very very small the the momentum of the particle or, or, or of that the momentum of the light particle the, the the light that you are you are impinging on it that becomes very very high 
okay the momentum becomes very high now now there is there is a thing called compton's effect okay so so let me let me just enumerate it so it is called compton's effect compton's effect it says that that, that that light indeed has the photons indeed have energy and momentum and if if say 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 some light is incident on an electron it 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 kind of undergoes the same concept the same theory as if a particle collided with a particle correct so that means if you put light on this this will this will move in the in the same manner as it would have moved had it collided with the particle so so if 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 there was a particle something like that then if its tendency was to move like that this is exactly how this electron will move or a proton will move correct now look at the significance you tried to find position to a very very high degree of precision for that you used a lambda that was very very small now the moment this lambda impinged upon this the moment this lambda hit this electron what will happen this electron will will suddenly gain energy right it is as if it has collided with something okay and what you will observe will be the velocity after the collision understand that will be the velocity after the collision so so maybe it, it kind of kind of shoots like that okay A and the velocity will not be the same as it as as it would have been had the had had there been no light impinging on it right do you understand so so the thing that we used to look at the electron that itself changed the velocity of the electron okay so if you want to be more precise the the, the error in velocity becomes more you understand because because it it would have by that time gained the momentum of the of the light of the light photon okay it would be influenced by the by the momentum of the light photon and you'll not be able to know what its original velocity was do we get that okay so 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 what i'm trying to say is is lesser the value of lambda the value of the wavelength why to have high precision okay to have high precision greater is the greater is the error in velocity because 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 velocity because of the transfer of momentum of the photons okay you understand the source of error and what happens if you do not want to impart this large velocity what will you do you will use a larger amount of lambda now larger lambda is like what you know it is using a scale like that so what happens your 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 precision of position suffers okay if you if you want it to you want to measure it to a very very high degree of degree of 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 accuracy okay uh, to a high, to a high degree of precision i'm sorry okay so so you will want this lambda to be as small as possible the, if the lambda is as small as possible you know it, it's like you are you are measuring this this sheet of paper 
with a scale which is graduated like that. Okay, so what happens? The the the, the position suffers. Okay, you will not be able to know the exact position. Fine, and that is what it states. So it is something that was at the base of that was at the base of of what happened how we moved from the classical physics to the to the quantum mechanical model of that right fine